Hi guys, Dan the Mountain Man here. And today, we are going to be preparing a taco bar for your Taco Tuesday, or what, just tacos for the night, for your dinner. So, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need one pound of ground beef. You're going to need some uh, tortillas. So you can get as many as what you need for the dinner. And uh, you know, a package of uh, uh, taco uh, seasoning. And this is a uh, reduced sodium. So if you're watching your sodium, you can get the reduced sodium. Still not as great, but it'll work. Okay, and then um, for the uh, seasoning, it does ask for three-fourths cup of uh, water so just check and see what your uh, seasoning packet says for that and another thing you'll need is your uh, shredded uh, lettuce and we got a um, white onion and a tomato you can probably get two tomatoes for this depending on how many people you're um, preparing this uh, bar for and also we got some sour cream and we got some, I got a taco blend cheese. You can go with whatever kind of cheese you want as well. That goes with your, um, that. And then we got some uh, salsa and hot sauce as some condiments as well. So, um, and of course you'd want to get some, uh, we got plates. For two plates for the uh, tortillas and some bowls for the um, ground beef, the shredded lettuce and onion, and the uh, uh, tomato. The and we'll just go with the uh, bag for the cheese and the containers that they come in for the um, sour cream and salsa and the hot sauce. We can just leave those in our containers. So, um, if you're doing this for your family and stuff, friends, or a little picnic, I'll save out. I'm doing it with the uh, paper to save on a little bit of washing, too. So, let's get this going here, and we'll see how it all turns out. Okay guys, so first thing we're going to do is heat up a couple of the tortillas. So, and uh, I'm going to cook up about eight of them, six to eight, for me and my mother. And so we'll have some for later as well. So, what you want to do is about uh, 10 to 15 seconds on each side in a warmed uh, grill. So I'm going to use this to cook the, uh, um, well you can do it in a uh, frying pan as well. Just you want to just slightly uh, get it going here um, just to heat them up a little bit this makes it pliable once they're warm and kind of they'll kind of puff up a little bit that's how you'll know that uh, it is warmed up enough for uh, the cooking of it so once that's done We'll just lay it on the plate, put your other one on top, and go on with your next one. So, now, since uh, I like the uh, flour tortillas, but you can get the uh, corn tortillas if you want it as well, um, or the crunchy ones. So, uh, you just do it to use your personal. Um, Flavor. So once these get heated up, you know, like it's 10-15 seconds. So you just heat up as many tortillas as you need per person. So as much as you need. 
about 10-15 seconds. So let me get these heated up and then we'll go on to the, our uh, meat and then get all the other stuff going as well. So we'll see you here shortly. Okay guys, got these all done. So I just put them in here and just put the uh, paper plate over top to kind of help keep those warm. Now we're going to um, start working on the uh, ground beef. So what we're going to do is we'll spray this down a little bit. It's going to help out. Put the non stickiness of it. Now what you're going to want to do is brown this meat up and drain it once uh, you get it uh, brown from the grease. So we got a, um, a colander and a, a bowl over here to get the grease. So you don't want the grease to go down in the uh, um, in the uh, drain. So we'll just break this up and let it brown. So once it gets brown, uh, we'll drain it and we'll work on doing the uh, uh, seasoning packet. So we'll see you here shortly as soon as this gets brown and broke up some. So. All right, see you in a minute or two. Okay guys, this is uh, um, brown, so we're gonna, um, I'm gonna drain it, and then we'll uh, work on putting in, the, getting it with the uh, seasoning and stuff so let me get this drained and it will be right back okay guys so what we're gonna do is this part here we're gonna put the ground ground uh, ground beef back in the uh, frying pan After we uh, got all the oil off as you can see there's the oil that's not good for you right there, so you want, you want to take that off and pour that out. So, let's uh, get the rest of this going here. What you're going to do is just get it all spread out here. And we're going to open up our packet. And put it in here. And then we'll put in our water as well. Get that going, get it stirred around. Once we get that going, stir it around real good. We're going to let it simmer a little bit, let it thin out, but it should be good and it already smells really good, so, alright, so we're going to let that simmer, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, alright, make sure we give it a good stir in a little bit, okay, so, now, get this out of my way all right all right guys so as this is going we're gonna work on some of our other stuff here so part of that is we're gonna open this up here and uh, uh, you're gonna want to make sure you rinse this off as well so hey guys so we're gonna do so we're gonna put this in here and just run it underneath the cold water for a little water a little bit that uh, will rinse off the chemicals and stuff as well so I give it a little shake let it sit there and we'll uh, uh, let that drain a little bit. Let's get that up a little bit here, and we'll just give this uh, 
ground beef a little bit of a stir. All right. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to sit our uh, get our bowl set up here. We're going to take our onion now. And we will cut off our ends. Right. Now, for Mexican food, we uh, I've always heard that the uh, white onion is the best for that, so we got the white onion here. So we're gonna give that a cut up here, dice it up here. So let's get that going as we are get rounding this. So. Here we go. You can see as we got this going here, we're just gonna slice up this onion and set it pointed down so you can't see my eyes watering as much. <laughs> so, right, we're all just gonna rough chop this here. Cut up as much as you need for uh, uh, everything. Just be careful with your fingers that you don't cut yourself. And we're just going to push this in the bowl as we get them done. And we'll, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this up because what I don't use tonight, we can use for tomorrow for other stuff as well. So, alright, so I'm going to finish cutting this up here. Alright, be real quick here. So we're just going to push that in here as well. Alright. Now, we will set that aside. And then we'll move on to our tomato. So I already got this rinsed off as well. So we're going to take our uh, tomato core and just scoop out that uh, the stem okay and we'll go ahead cut it in half like so and just cut it like this four and then I'll just cut it down like this for myself. This is how I like to have them cut. Alright, so just cut it in half, cut it in another half, and we just do it on the sides here as well. So now we'll take this and put it in the bowl and set it off to the side so yeah oh, there we go so all right so that gets that done so now that this uh, lettuce has been drained and enough we'll just take it and put a little bit in the in the bowl and uh, we'll have this set aside for later if we need it. So there we got on that. So 
All right, so let's give this a little stir up and it looks like it's ready too. All right guys, so we'll just uh, scoop out our uh, ground beef here from the uh, thing here. And that will be good right there. I'll just uh, scoop the rest of this up here and get it out of the way and set it off to the side as well uh, in case we need it for later. But it'll keep for our bowl. So. Alright. We'll set this off to the side so we have a little extra as well. Alright, and then we'll just uh, turn our uh, grill off and get it out of the way and clean up. And the next thing we'll do is get the rest of our bar set up. So we'll get that taken care of here shortly. So be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So now we got our area cleaned off here since I'm using the counter space that I cooked on. So I used the counter space that I cooked on. Um, I cleaned it off, got it nice and clean, cleaned my hands too. So what we're going to do now guys, is we're going to lay out our uh, um, stuff here. And we got our ground beef here. So we're gonna put that in there. And of course we got our uh, lettuce. And now our onions and our tomatoes as well. So we'll probably switch that around here. So and we will put a little spoon in here for that as well. So now what we're going to want to do is we'll uh get our, open up our sour cream. And we'll give that a good stir up a little bit. And we'll leave our spoon in there and set it like right here for uh, that. All right. Now if I can get a room out. There's my header spoon. All right, so we'll just take our salsa. We well, can sit that right there as well, guys. So, there we go. So, we can get it in our little pitcher here. And now we will open up our hot sauce here. And I like this one for flavor when I'm doing the tacos, but any of your favorite hot sauce will do. So let's see if I can get this open here. We'll go ahead. and get that open. So there we go guys. Let's make sure that that is open for you. And we can just sit that right there. Alright. And we'll just open up our uh, cheese. Make sure that it is good and ready to go. So, and we can just sit that right off to the side here or um, that to the side as well like right there so um, all right make our adjustments guys <laughs> all right I usually have this flipped around the other way all right so here we go guys this is our spread so let's uh um, oh yeah I'm forgetting one other thing all right, so here we go. <laughs> All right, so there's our thing. So here's our spread for the taco bar. Uh, let's uh, give this a little taste test here in a minute. Okay guys, so now we are going to create our taco for this evening. So we'll put our taco, our tortilla on there and we'll put a little bit of meat, about two, 
spoonfuls or three on there, not too much. And we'll do our little bit of lettuce. Don't want to overstuff your taco here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cream cheese on here for this part. And we'll put in our onions. Okay, and our tomatoes can go on there. All right, so and we can go with a little bit of salsa as well. And I like the hot sauce on mine, so we will drop a few a little bit on there as well. And guys. Finally, can't have a taco without a little bit of cheese. Again, this is the taco blend that I got from uh, Ingalls. It's the Little Lynn brand, which is really good. So now we'll just take this and give it a good fold up here and try our taco. So here we go, guys. I did overstuff it just slightly. So here we go. Hmm. Okay, guys. Hmm. So this was showing you how to make. Now I make my taco bar. I'll add a few other things here and there, occasionally. Mother ingredients. But this is your simple basic uh, uh, taco bar for your Taco Tuesday or just a taco dinner for your family. The way everybody gets to make it the way that they want to. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the taco uh, bar. And uh, I want you guys to uh, uh, comment below on you know, how you make your taco bar, what you add on it. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, take time to subscribe to my channel. I do cooking videos like this when I can. And I'm trying to get back on my schedule Saturday. I'm off of it right now. But I do to some other stuff going on. Uh, I'm hoping to get back onto that schedule um, here soon. Also, guys, oh, uh, uh, I also do uh, some sightseeing and adventure videos and uh, some taste test videos here and there as well. So uh, you, when you subscribe, you can catch those videos as well. Alright guys, I want you guys to enjoy the day the Lord is giving you. I'll catch you on the next video. I am going to finish up my tacos and enjoy myself as well. So, see you guys later.